Hello everyone and welcome to today's Unreal Engine tutorial. My name is Cairo and I will be taking you through this very short video on viewport navigation. Now this is something that's obviously very simple and basic but yet it's really integral to navigating your way through your scenes and obviously it's something you are going to be doing quite a lot of. Okay, so let's get started with viewport navigation. There are three basic methods that this entails and it's sort of not really outlined anywhere inside the Unreal Engine documentation, so that is what we are going to go through quickly. First of all, we have mouse navigation. You can hold down your left mouse button and drag it forward, back, left, or right. So you'll notice when I drag it forward, I'm actually moving forward, back, I'm actually moving back, but when I move it towards the left or the right, I'm actually turning the camera as opposed to moving in that direction. Then similar to this is the right mouse button where if, you, if I go right, it'll tilt the camera upwards or downwards towards the left and towards the right. The functions for left and right for the left and right mouse buttons are pretty much the same thing. You can also use the middle mouse button to move directly up or directly down or to the left or to the right. So essentially the best way to think of all of these things is picturing that you are controlling the camera for your environment essentially. And this navigation comes in real handy when you are placing cameras inside your scene for cinematics at a later stage. Now that we have the basics, you can also, if you do not have a middle mouse button and you are using a laptop trackpad or something similar, you can also hold down the left and right mouse buttons for the same effect. That is mouse navigation, plain and simple. The next we have is the WSAD method, which if you've played any first person or third person game, pretty much anywhere on PC, you will know pretty much what this entails. So if you hold down W, A, S, and D keys, nothing happens. But as soon as you combine this with one of your mouse buttons, you can see that you have pretty traditional movements over here. All I'm doing now is moving around with the W, A, S, and D keys and the right mouse button. The same can be done with the left mouse button, but as you can see, I'm having difficulty rotating my camera and that sort of keeps you on the trajectory that you're already on. This right and left mouse buttons can also be combined with the E and Q keys to directly move the camera up and down, E to go up, Q to go down, which is similar to your middle mouse button. You can also use the C key to zoom in on something. And now you can see that I've zoomed in like this, but as soon as I release the mouse button, it'll go back to where I previously was. This is because it's not really moving the camera, the C key, it's simply just zooming in for a bit more detail in case you need it. You can also do the same with the Z key to zoom out. This however does change the depth of field a little bit. You can also come up to the right over here and change the camera speed and now you can see I am moving it, but at a very slow pace. If you have a very big level, you can set it up to eight just to move through this quickly and efficiently. I'm just going to reset that before I forget. What can also be done is, I don't think it would ever really be needed, is you can change the camera a speed scalar, so if I were to change this to 10, for example, it 
it just increases the movement range a bit. You can now see that I'm moving around a lot quicker than I was when this was set to one. Another thing to note is that when I'm using the C function, I can use, I can roll the mouse to make sure that I'm doing it as quickly or as slowly as I want. The last method of navigation is that of the Maya style method, which is used in Autodesk Maya. So all you have to do is hold down, hold down Alt and the left mouse button, and you will then pivot around whatever is focused upon inside your scene. So now at the moment, we have the large file 42 selected. So if I zoom out from this, if I hold Alt, you can see that it's pivoting around that selected object. But whatever object you would like to pivot around, you can simply just click on it. For example, I might want to focus on that stationary light. I can hit F to focus on it. And then you can see that I'm now pivoting smoothly around this with Alt and the left mouse button. The same can be done with the Alt and the right mouse button, but this is just to zoom in and out. This is different to the C and Z keys because when you release the mouse button, you will remain in the position that you were at. That is pretty much everything to do with viewport navigation. Just a few other shortcut keys you might be interested to know. If you hit G on your keyboard, you will enter game view and this will remove all your symbols inside the viewport. If you hit F11, it will maximize the viewport you are currently in. You can also hit F11 to do the same. Last shortcut key we will look at, if you hit Alt plus P, then your level will start playing. And as you can see, here are some cinematics that Unreal has put together. And these are the kind of things that you can do now that you have learned how to navigate inside your viewport. So quite a quick and simple tutorial today, but I do hope that you have learned something useful. We will be uploading quite a few more Unreal Engine tutorials. So if you would like to learn more about the engine, please like this video, please subscribe to the channel and I will see you soon. Thank you and goodbye.